I'm beyond sick and tired of the hateful protests in the streets of Toronto and the streets of cities across the country. I've been beyond sick and tired of it for months now. But we just have to examine and talk about what is happening in the streets because this would be unacceptable for any other group to do this. Check out this footage uh, collected by John Fraser, user on uh, X, who lives near this area, down by uh, Union Station in Toronto. And every week they are blocking off this street and setting up for prayer. The brave protesters with almost all of their faces covered. Now, if this was any other group, if this was a bunch of Catholics going around and saying, okay, time, stop all traffic, no one can move, we're going to have mass here. Do you think that would be allowed? No, it would be shut down. It would be shut down for anybody else. But week after week, for more than a year, this sort of thing has been going on. Then you look at what they're saying. This is a guy who goes by the name Gerard online. Um, he has been one of the leaders of these protests for months and months. He was a key supplier and leader of the encampments and setting them up at University of Toronto, at McGill, at the University of Ottawa. This is not unusual, what he said in this clip that was captured over the weekend in Toronto. Teach your children that the Zionist entity is the enemy. Teach your children that the resistance is an honor. And teach your children that there is no such country called Israel. Salaam alaikum. He says Israel doesn't exist. He says that the Zionist entity is the enemy. Teach your children that the resistance is an honor. He's talking about Hamas. That is their name, the resistance. Open support, I would call that, for a banned terrorist organization. But these protests have been glorifying the, the leaders of Hamas and Hezbollah for months now. What's being done about it? Very little. They are allowed to shut down our major streets. They were blocking traffic the other night as the whole city's trying to come in for the Leafs game. What do you think they're going to do when Taylor Swift is in town and the Leafs are playing at the same time and the Raptors are playing at the same time? It's going to be utter madness. This should have been ended a long time ago. Yes, you can protest. No, you do not control the streets. And no, you do not decide who can move when and where. That's what's been going on right now. It's past time that it ends. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.